This exercise is for the chest. This is a chest press machine. This is the seat adjustment. And you will sit in the seat so there's some weight on it and you'll pull the lever and it will lower hydraulically down. The lower it goes, the higher the chest you work. The higher the seat, the lower the chest you work. Today we're gonna work the whole chest, but specifically the middle. So we're gonna place the seat right in the middle. Following your two warm-up sets, you'll take the weight selector and you'll select a weight that you can get 15 reps on your first set. Your second set, you'll move the weight up and you'll go for 12 reps. And your third set, you'll move the weight up even more and you'll go for 10 reps. You'll find yourself leaning back against the machine. You'll bring your elbows somewhat up, but not too high so you don't engage the shoulders. Keep the elbows midline. You place your hands on the bar at a comfortable distance apart. You keep your core tight. You'll engage your glutes so your posture is good. You will engage your chest before you move. And in order to engage the chest, you try to bring the bars forward and together. This will engage the chest and ensure that your chest is more active than your shoulders. You'll press forward. You'll go full contraction, but you will not lock out your elbow. Do not pop it at the end because that's unnecessary wear and tear on your joints. Let's say you just go 99%. You do it slow, rhythmically, and controlled, and you should feel a good burn all across your chest muscles, all the way up, all the way down, and squeeze hard at the top. Remember to try and bring the elbows together to engage the chest. This exercise is for the back. This is a hammer strength, low row machine. You will take the seat and you will place it a comfortable distance up so that your legs are bent 90 degrees or just a little bit less. You'll load weight on here, but you may want to start with no weight and see how that feels first. After your first two warm-up sets, you'll take the weight plates and you'll load them on the bars. You'll find yourself facing the machine like this. Chest is gonna be against the machine. You're gonna pick a neutral grip, reach your hands forward, keep your chin and your chest up. You're gonna squeeze the back as you pull in. Use your back muscles rather than your biceps to pull the weight. You'll do 15 reps, you'll increase the weight and you'll do 12 reps. Then you'll increase the weight again and you'll do 10 reps. Squeeze hard at the top, come down slow, nice and rhythmic and really contract your back when you get to the top of the movement. Squeeze hard. Be sure to keep your core engaged and your glutes tight. This exercise is for the biceps and this machine is called the Machine Preacher Curl. Some machines, they allow you to add a plate weight. Other machines have a weight selector. After your first two warm-up sets, you'll add a plate weight or change the selector to a weight that you know you can do 15 reps. You'll adjust the seat by moving it up or down enough that your elbows and the back of your tricep is flush with the bench in front of you. Not so you're up and not so you're too low. Right here is perfect. So you can extend your arms straight and come up. If it feels good, it's right. You'll take your hands and you'll place them on the grips about midway. Now we're gonna pull with the bicep and you curl the way up, squeeze hard at the top. Come down slow. Make sure your elbows are in and not out. This will avoid unnecessary stress in the elbow joint. Your first set will be 15 reps. Then you will increase the weight and you will do 12 reps. Then you will increase the weight and you will do 10 reps. This exercise is for the triceps, the back of the arm. You'll take a V-bar attachment and you'll open the carabiner and attach it to the cable. After your first two warm-up sets, you'll select a weight that you can do 15 reps with. You'll stand facing the V-bar, place both hands on the V-bar. Before you move anything, you will engage your glutes, squeeze your core, chest up, chin neutral, and you will press down. 
you'll keep your shoulders back and your chest up during the entire movement to keep your shoulders out of it. You'll rep through it and make sure you bend your knees a little bit. There's no need to lock the knees. When you come up slow, then you'll press down through it and you'll really engage your triceps. Every rep you want to squeeze hard at the bottom and then come up slow. Nice and rhythmic. 15 reps here and then you'll increase the weight and you'll go to 12 reps. Then you'll increase the weight again and you'll go down to 10 reps. This exercise is for the shoulders and this machine is called a shoulder military press. You'll pull the lever and you'll adjust the seat so that your legs fit comfortably and you're not too deep in the machine. You don't want your arms all the way down here. You don't want to be too deep. You don't want too much stress on the shoulders. Find what feels good and that you can still get into the machine and push up. After your first two warm-up sets, you'll find a weight that you can do 15 reps with. Some of the machines have a weight selector. This machine is plate loaded. Bring your elbows forward before you engage your delts and then drive straight up with your delts. Keeping your elbows in front will take unnecessary pressure off of your elbows. 15 reps on your first set, then you'll increase the weight and you'll do 12 reps. And then you'll increase the weight and you'll do 10 reps. Keep your core tight, keep your back against the machine and engage your glutes to keep your posture good. Chest is always up in every exercise and your head is neutral. Push hard all the way to the top, but don't go 100%, go 99%. Nice and smooth, nice and controlled, squeeze at the top and down slow. This exercise is for the shoulders, the side delts, or the laterals to be specific, and this machine is called a side lateral raise. You will select a seat position that gives you a comfortable height on your legs. You will walk into the machine. After your first two warm-up sets, you will select a weight that you can do 15 reps. You'll face the machine and you'll slide your arms in here. Your forearms should be on top of the pads like this. Shoulders forward, chest up, head neutral. Engage your core, squeeze your glutes to keep your posture good, and you're simply gonna raise your elbows up. You'll rep out 15 total reps here. Squeeze hard at the top and come down slow. Get a nice rhythmic contraction. After 15 reps, you'll increase the weight and you'll decrease the reps to 12. Then your third set, you'll do 10 reps with even higher weight than that. This exercise is for the legs, for the quads, and the hamstrings. And this machine is called the seated leg press. You'll spin yourself into the machine. You'll select a weight after your first two warm-up sets that you can do 15 reps with. There'll be a lever on the left or on the right. This machine is on the right. And it will adjust the seat. Pull the lever and bring the seat up high while you put your feet in place. Place your feet a comfortable distance apart and right in the middle. Pull the lever again and bring the seat down low until your quads touch your rib cage. You want to be in here nice and tight so you get a deep contraction at the bottom. Release the lever on the right, lock it into place, and with your heels, drive up. Go 99% and do not lock out the knees. This will save wear and tear on your knees. Hold on to the handles for every rep. Squeeze hard at the top go deep at the bottom. 15 reps on your first set, and then you'll increase the weight and you'll bring the reps down to 12. And your third set, you'll increase the weight again and you'll do 10 reps. Squeeze hard at the top, down slow and a deep contraction. This machine is for the outer thigh or the AB ductors in the legs. After your first two warm-up sets, you'll choose a weight that you can do 15 reps. You'll place your feet on the pegs in the front and your lower thigh inside the padding. If your knees are too high, place your feet lower on the pegs. Find your back against the machine, engage your core, squeeze your glutes, hold on to the handles. Chest is high, but your head is neutral. Good posture here, and you're gonna use your outer thighs. 
to open the legs. You'll do 15 reps here on your first set. Your second set, you'll increase the weight and you'll do 12 reps. And your third set, you'll increase the weight even more and you'll do 10 reps. Squeeze hard and feel a burn in your outer thighs and maybe in your hips as well. This exercise is for your inner thighs or your adductors. And this machine is called an adductor machine. The machine is wide, so there's a selector over here on the right. When you pull the pin, it allows you to adjust. Take it kind of wide because you want a deep stretch. After your first two warm-up sets, you're gonna select a weight that you can do 15 reps with. You're gonna place one foot on the pegs, you're gonna grab the right side, and you're gonna help your leg over by pushing the pad in. If your knees are too high, you'll place your feet further down on the pegs. You should already have a good stretch in your inner thigh. Core is tight, glutes are engaged, your back is against the machine, and there's a smile on your face. Grab the handles, keep your posture good, and use your inner thighs to squeeze hard and bring them in. 15 reps here on your first set. Then you'll increase the weight and you'll decrease your reps down to 12. And your third set, you'll do even heavier weight with only 10 reps. This exercise is for your abdominals. And this machine is called an ab bench or an abdominal crunch. You'll pick a weight that you can do 25 reps. You'll adjust the seat height so that your feet can lock in to the bottom position quite easily. Bring the bench back. You want a deep, deep stretch in your abdominals when you start this position. Hold on to the grips and then use your abs to pull you forward and down. Keep your core engaged the entire time. Keep your chin neutral. Do not crunch your chin and put unnecessary wear and tear on your neck. Make sure you go all the way back and use your feet to hold yourself in place. Squeeze hard at the bottom, come back up. Maybe you even take a one second pause at the bottom and really contract those abs. 25 reps, three sets total. This exercise is for your core but not your abs, it's actually for your obliques, your love handles, and your serratus anterior. Find a clean bench or your way onto the ground. Lay on your back, feet on the ground. These are called ankle taps, and you're simply gonna squeeze to the right, engage all of this area here. Tap your ankle, and then you go to the left. Make it in a crunch style so your chin is up and you're holding yourself up the entire movement. You'll do 25 each side. So it's one, one, two, two, three, three. Don't just bend your neck. Lean the entire body to the left and to the right. 25 reps, three sets total and feel a good burn in the sides of your body.